Good afternoon. Hundreds of police officers from around the country are in Albuquerque competing in the National Police Shooting Championships. The controversial event, which has been the subject of recent protests, kicked off this morning. News 13's Cole Miller is live in the Newsplex, where we're hearing for the first time from the NRA. Cole. Well, Kim, these championships, which are sponsored by the National Rifle Association, have come to the Duke City for quite a few years now. This go around, it's caught a bit of heat. And it is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to Albuquerque for the annual National Police Shooting Championships. These championships, which began in 1962, are dubbed as an extension of training. The event runs through Thursday out at the shooting park near the Double Eagle Airport. It features both individual and team competitions. The NRA says it's open to all public law enforcement officers. Now, those officers come from city, county, state, and wildlife departments. Retired officers can also participate. The NRA estimates five to 600 officers take part in these championships each year. Albuquerque Police Chief Gordon Eden briefly spoke this morning just before things got underway. I know that everybody here will do their absolute best. That's what happens when you bring together the best of the best. Thank you. Earlier this month, protesters had demanded the city and the mayor cancel the competition. They even attempted to deliver a letter to Mayor Barry's office. And there was also a small protest yesterday where families of men shot and killed by APD shot at targets with water guns. Now, many of those protesters say holding the competition here is an insult to the APD shooting victims and their families. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Cole. Now, the city has said they welcome the event and the officers to Albuquerque.